I grew up in Bozeman, Montana, which gave me easy access to Yellowstone National Park. Probably been there about a dozen times. So in this edition of Idaho Backroads, we're gonna map out a trip to Yellowstone and Grand Teton, highlight things to do, what should be avoided, and just tips for having the best vacation as Yellowstone turns 150 years old. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I would recommend entering through the south entrance as Jackson gives people an opportunity for lodging and supplies before entering the parks. This also means your journey starts with Grand Teton National Park, which is separate but might as well be included into any trip to Yellowstone. People could easily spend a few days visiting these majestic mountains and alpine lakes. But once you get to Yellowstone, you will drive past cascading waterfalls, lakes, and cross the Continental Divide. From there, the park turns into a figure eight, and probably the most important thing to do is secure lodging or a camp spot before reaching Yellowstone because campgrounds fill up fast and last minute hotels in the border towns will hurt your pocketbook. For visitors who are, are planning on coming to Yellowstone, we ask them to plan ahead. We know that uh, people are aware of how many visitors come to Yellowstone simply because it's so popular. Yellowstone has a lot of must stops, including the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Mammoth is definitely worth the drive. And this area through the Geyser Basins, the amazing Grand Prismatic Spring and down to Ode Faithful remains the busiest part of the park. But make sure to stay on the walkways, not only for your safety, but also to preserve this area. I'm actually on the balcony of the Old Faithful Inn, uh, and surrounding the inn are geysers, hot springs, mud pots. So visitors who come to this area can expect to see a visitor center. They can expect to see Old Faithful go off. Oh! Oh! every 70 to 90 minutes. Yellowstone is also known for its wildlife and some of the best places to see the animals include Hayden Valley. It always has bison. Lamar Valley features the best chance to see wolves. And I've seen more bears on the way to Mammoth than anywhere else in the park. On, Just don't get too close. These are wild animals and we don't want to see any incidents this summer. Especially given during this 150th year. June, July, and August will also be the most crowded months of the year at Yellowstone. July set attendance records last year. So another rule of thumb, if you want to beat the crowds, really the best way is to get up before them. As they say in Yellowstone, the early bird gets the worm. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.